weekend. Players going in very hard. Robert Clough for Melbourne. As he runs right across the face of goal. It's for home. Hat should have another bounce. He's won about 100 metres. A brilliant run. Up towards Saturday. His nickname was Tulip, but there was nothing delicate about this delight to the eye. Robert Clough was a beauty to watch. Graceful, elegant, polished. But he was as resilient as a wild daisy and as perennial as the grass. Flower comes across, traps the ball beautifully, and now from the left foot kick, screws it back down there, looking for Stephen Smith, and finds that player with a beautiful pass. Off the field with his thick glasses and humble nature, no one would have suspected that this 18-year-old from suburban Murrumbina would become one of the game's great wingmen. But once he crossed the white line, he was transformed into a true champion, a man who became the hero of the MCG members' wing for a club record 274 games. Wow! There's the kick up towards Flower. Oh. Flies over the back. Comes the handball to Flower. Here's danger. Robbie Flower goes onto the left foot, kicks in towards the square and goal. Melbourne's leading kick gatherer so far, but that's okay. Robbie Flower, who started slowly but playing well now. Lovely ball. Around one, around two. Touches the ball on the ground. All day's kick, not a good one. Over the top. Oh. Flower, what a mark! Oh, stolen from Dougie. Support. Flower again. Oh, well done, Victoria. Around the outer side wing he goes. Through the wing, up towards half forward. Then looks for his full forward, who's behind Mackay. Cloak. Nicely to Lee Matthews. Miller. Oh, straight to Flower. He can run in, steady. Line up from 35 metres out. That's his second. It's 15 metres, so get a fly here. Away he goes. Looking for Templeton, he's behind. Lovely flower up high, hooks it down, goes on again, knocks it back over the top. Magnificent football by Flowers. Lovely flower in full flight. Oh. Oh. That's low. Oh. That's low. Oh. That's low. Oh. Out from Barry Breen. Kicks it wide to the other side of the ground. A great mark to Robert. Baker front position against the roof. Oh, flower, what magnificent play. Great play, Robert Flower. Oh. Absolutely oh. magnificent football. Champagne stuff. Got it. A bit smell and went too well there, went too, too slow. Here's a professional backhand for you if you'd like a check. Crashing right through, left and right support. This time it's Flower. This has been good football with Flower's goal. Straight through. Well done by Hutchison. Domberg or Flower, stolen off them. And towards Jackson, one out for Pickett. Over the shoulder. Plays on, Jackson. Flower from the side. Oh, great mark, Robbie Flower. Melbourne's Robbie Flower captained the Victorian side in Perth and gave great leadership after being moved to centre-half forward on Ross Glendinning. Flower kicked two brilliant goals and Victoria won this State of Origin match by 23 points. Great play, Victoria, and a fitting result. And it will be number 26, uh, Tui, to take it. Half forward, Flower. To Flower. Flowers on right centre wing, playing at centre half forward. Flower and Glendenning. More Flower burning at centre half forward. On the ground they go. Yep. Flower. Healy hasn't been in the play very much. In board he goes to Robbie Flower. Flower breaks the tackle. Great football. Watch this one. Yes, what a fine goal. Robert Flower. Gaunt still got the chance. Left foot to downfield. Robert Flower in front. Great pick up. Open goal. Shoots. Bang. Straight through the middle. About centre half back and the Demons are leading by two points. He sends down looking for Flower. Flower the leaper. Oh, beautiful. Captain Courageous and Captain Skillful takes a magnificent mark. Playing from behind though. Got a few runners either side of him. Tunnel balls there at the back to Rover Elshaw. Another runner in the centre of the field. This time it's Ick. Goes the long hand of a loose player on that bounty line of Flower. Flower shoots quickly and goal. Just gone behind the goal line to take that kick. 
and he'll kick it to the outer side of the ground. Robbie Flower is out there and marks well. And can be credited with inspiring Melbourne to its 19-point win over Richmond. It was brilliant skipper Robbie Flower. He ruled the skies and kicked five goals in one of his finest performances for the Demons. Patterson hooks it too far. It's coming back in towards Flower. What the champion player he is. Connolly is hooked too far, but it's running to the goal square. A great mark by the Demons. Up high was Robbie Flower. Smith. He'll get another one on. Over to Victoria's most Robert consistent Flower. player of the day, Captain Robert Flower. No problems at all. It was a one-man show again at the MCG when, for the second time this season, Robert Flower proved to be Richmond's nemesis. He picked up some 30 possessions in Melbourne's 14-point victory. by Robbie Flower right on the boundary line good shepherd by Healy Flower a long shot is pretty good oh, what? the Demons wizard Robbie Flower was in full flight against the Swans Melbourne by 97 points and win number five was on the board down towards the half forward line shocking hand pass from Torbett once again Melbourne Taking full advantage of some poor play by the Swans. Flower to Healy. Back to Flower again. Flower hooks the ball. Give, however, a high kick straight over the top. Gathers little distance. Bernie Evans says thank you very much for the bad bounce. And Robbie Flower appreciates it. Hold on the board. Smith brings it back into play. Flower, the genius, goes to... Still going. Puts a long hand pass down. Flower coming through. Takes it beautifully. Snaps towards goal, Robert Flower. Great goal by Flower and Melbourne. Chance for Chris Connolly. Robbie Flower, scoring distance, 45 metres out. Goal coming up. The first for Melbourne. Forward now, looking for Brian Wilson. Oh, judged it beautifully. Between two Footscray players, Melbourne looking ever so much better. David Williams. Not so clear of Hardy. That was good football. Now, skipper Robbie Flower, can he break through the tackle? He can. He lines up from 35 metres out and he's goal. Moore and uh, Clark had a bit of a, a good duel all day. Uh, Moore in front because of his marking and play around the field. Bridget's for Melbourne. Up the Fitch. Knocked out of Fitch's hands. Flower steadies. Slides, slides it. And kicks it goal. Touch of class about that goal from Robbie Flower. The way he went about it. He waited. Steadied. Lined it up. And drove it home. Carroll pushes it out of the pack. Chance now for Melbourne, Flower cleverly, a high kick to uh, full forward. In fact, he's put it through for a goal. And at mark of the first quarter. So plenty of action at the MCG. Five goals having been scored in the first term. Hurd has the kick smothered. Baker's there. Flower outside, gets the hand pass uh, across from Tony Campbell. Dodging, twisting, weaving. A short pass is a good one and finds Campbell. But a big kick anyway. Chance there for Lovett it is, as he feeds it out. Gandini again. He's played pretty well since coming on. Up forward. Chance there for the Melbourne's line. Taps it forward to Flower. Flower runs into goal. Kicks it. Demons by 10 points. Robbie's first for the afternoon. And the Demons 16th. Seven minutes in. The Demons lead by 10 points. 16, 14, 1, 1, 0 to Geelong. 14, 10, 100. He twists. Hooks it very cleverly back. And comes Bailey. Bailey long. Robbie Flower from behind. And it's a beauty. And by Jackson, he hooks it back towards Flower. He's been well covered today, Robbie Flower. But look at the great skills are as he sprints away. Straightens up on the right foot. Slams a goal. Great goal, Robert Flower. But David Williams far too quick for Michael Gibson. Gibson must get in front. On this occasion, he doesn't make the distance. Right in front of goal, O'Healy took a dive. There's a hurry step at the goal by, was it Flower? It was, and he put it through for a goal. Been there, but he should have held the mark. Tenth kick for Healy, into the pocket, and that's another strong mark from the Collingwood defender. Crawl not paid, Flower snap, it's a goal! Well, the booze from the Magpie fans nearly drowning out the roars of... Left-hand hand pass away to Spalding. Shrugs off Aitken. Great play. And puts a teammate, Robbie Flower, out in the clear. Flower, 25 out. Goal! 
Deitch comes back to it. Goal square. Flower. Oh, it hit the post. And so did Robbie. Up behind. Geez, brave. He even tackles goalposts. <laughs> It just would not bounce the right way for Robbie. Following day saw John Northey's D's cross the Nuller border face the Eagles. Melbourne champion Robert Flower running out for game 253 the, uh, to break Brian Dixon's long-standing club record. The record on a, a foreign sort of surface. Yeah. I, I broke my, I broke Jack Dyne's record at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Gee. You know, it's always a little 50 bit. 50 metres. Great endeavour about the Demons that time. As Bailey can't make the distance. Centres Flower from the side. What a great mark. And the champion from the 25 metre line. Alex Schenko to come in and take on Turner. Turner brilliantly to Jackson. Spalding a wonderful chance again. Flower, lovely play. Trouble, but gets his foot to the ball. Kicks an open goal, and he's done it. Well done, Captain. That's his second. Very strong and out to Flower. Flower one bite, dazzling turn. Look out your court, Robert. Then has to hook it back. Underneath it is Lyon. One hand up. An absolute gem was Lyon that time. Play by the youngster. Wilson can't mark. Punched away by Henwood. Here's a chance now. Tui. Wilson's in there again. Spalding. Melbourne out of the centre. Flower climbing in a pack. Robbie Flower, what a champion. Should have. Hughes taps it on. Chance now for Sean White, who's played a tremendous game at halfback for the Demons. He plays on and kicks it up. There's a loose player here. W Wilson on to Yates. Yates has Flower loose in the pocket. Flower should go from this chance. He shoots and class again with ball over it. Dean, on to Bailey, kick it yourself, on to Flower, goal number two coming up, there it is, the Demons back in it, never say die spirit, Footscray by two goals. 55 metres from goal, they trail by five points Melbourne, and they're into a slight breeze in this quarter, three goals each for the term, what a kick by stretch. Flower at the back, he's got it! Oh, sensational Robbie Flower. Stretch who can run like a gazelle and deliver the ball beautifully. Goes long, not without a chance of scoring. Flower! He was the venue the following day for the elimination final between North Melbourne and the Demons. If Hawthorne humiliated the Swans, Melbourne totally destroyed the Ruse with a brilliant performance that saw the Demons' favourite son, Robbie Flower, in his first finals appearance. Sets it up for someone to take a big mark, and there it is, Robbie Flower. The idol of the Melbourne members' stand. Be a monster if he did it. Doesn't quite. Steins is up there. Law. Well tackled. Mossop under pressure and a chance for Melbourne. Flower! He's done it! Second goal, Robbie Flower. Hasn't had many more kicks than two, but that is such an important goal for the Demons. The first one of the second half to give them a 43-point lead. And Kevin Bartlett, that grip is going to be pretty hard for North Melbourne to break. Well, at the numbers, and they're away again. Yates at half forward. In short, Yates. Good pass, Flower. And the members stand erupt. Two marks to 32. Melbourne leading in that department. Here's one of the guys who's taken a few of them. A oh, magical play by Flower. Over the top. To Hughes runs through centre wing. Over the low goes. Kicks it long. 50 metres up into the forward pocket. And there's the hero of the afternoon. Robert Flower takes the mark about 40 metres out. His fifth mark. He's kicked two goals. One was a sensational goal at the start of this third quarter. And he comes in and punts Crowley. Third goal. And the MCG. Well, KB. It's just erupted. Robbie Flower 
Well, he kicked that opening goal, or he kicked that his first goal in that first quarter from that sensational mark. And straight after half time, he kicked that the first goal of the quarter to really give Melbourne the momentum again. And now, of course, uh, another team lifting goal. Three goals. Three centre wing. Short pass up towards half forward. Mark taken by Dean. Oh, yeah, just murdering the kangaroos. Bad kick by Dean. A rare mistake. Flower. Not go all the way. 40 metres out. This will put them in ecstasy. <laughs> Big spoil. Now Hughes. A tower of strength for Melbourne. Long thumper. Here's Flower. 25 metres out directly in front. And those who came here to pay homage to Robbie Flower won't go home disappointed tonight. He took a magnificent mark and kicked a goal early in the match. And now drives home his fifth. And Melbourne lead by 91 points. Four minutes into the last quarter. 50 years ago. Love it. Good torpedo kick. Oh, oh, oh. Flower! Mark of the day, could be mark of the year. Plays on, poor kick, into the puck. The first one was played at the MCG on Sunday with Melbourne hopefully continuing their dream run and the Swans desperately needing to salvage some pride. He gives it across to Flower, a goal coming up as Melbourne puts the ball forward. Kick, a 70 metre kick. The Flyers are there, here's a chance for a goal. Flower! forward area off the hands of the pack melbourne's there final siren as robert flower comes off the ground well done again robert flower john northey and the melbourne football club